Hey everyone, in this video we'll be discussing and healing our breast chakras. I say everyone for a reason, because we do indeed all have breast chakras. No matter how you identify, if you've got nipples, you've got lovely portals of light in your chest that are your breast chakras. Even if you've had a mastectomy or another type of surgery, they're still there, intact in the other layers of your aura. So the breast chakras form part of the heart chakra complex, and they're often associated with issues like nourishment, nurturing, and self-worth. Considering where our first source of nourishment and nurturing often comes from as infants, we can hold on to a lot of mother issues here. Issues with our own mothers and ancestral line, issues with the absence of a mother figure, issues with the idea of motherhood, or issues with divine mother slash divine feminine energy, issues with being mothered or mothering others, even issues with being incarnate here on Mother Earth. A lot of anger, guilt, and shame get stored in the breasts, too. Concerning our own feminine side and how the feminine has been treated, our vulnerability, our bodies, and our sexuality. Just the fact that we have bodies with needs that require nourishing can feed into this guilt and shame for some. Me being me, I can't quite help but notice how Western art historical depictions of breasts coincide quite a bit with everything I just mentioned. There's lots of maternal breasts out there, and lots of suggestive breasts out there. For starters, you've got Madonnas. Virgins and Christchilds in tender scenes, showing us safe, acceptable, church-sanctioned boobs. Nourishing mother boobs. We will definitely be focusing on any of our lingering mommy issues. Of course, academic nudes are a thing. Figure studies, meant to hone and show off an artist's mastery of anatomy. A naked human isn't the easiest thing to accurately portray, after all. And these studies foster depictions of other openly acceptable, or acceptably suggestive, types of boobs in more finished works of art. Like goddess boobs, great for showing off one's classical education and erudite taste for mythological painting. And just random bather boobs. So reminiscent of those Greco-Roman naiads and water nymphs. Odalisque boobs. Exotic concubine boobs. Which smack of fashionable Orientalism and French imperialist propaganda. And which lead nicely into prostitute boobs and brothel imagery. Still acceptable as a sign of one's avant-garde voyeurism of society's underbelly. Oh, there are male nudes out there. There just tends to be somewhat less of them. And that may have to do with the fact that it was mostly men who were the professional artists of yesteryear, often commissioned by male patrons. And any women who were in the arts generally were not allowed access to live nude models. Women were highly represented, but they had little recourse to represent their own or really anyone else's bodies. So the straight male gaze, with its prevalence, access to culture, and no great desire to stare at a bunch of willies all day, inevitably gets brought up with female nudes. Along with the ways it can objectify, fetishize, sexualize, and desirously see the provocative and promiscuous side of things. I sort of think that all that fixation on the physicality of the feminine can build up, and has built up over generations, putting some pressure on the way we humans relate to our feminine aspects. Because we do all have feminine aspects, again, no matter how we identify. And individually and collectively, that pressure can pretty easily morph into judgments of ourselves and others. Like judgments about how our bodies look, or what we do or do not do with them, for pleasure or otherwise. Enter that anger, guilt, and shame that gets stored in the breasts that I just mentioned. Along with a good deal of perfectionism and comparison. Frustration, too, at the low value historically placed on feminine agency, feminine attributes, and feminine expression. So, let's get to shifting and dissolving all of that. Let's get this healing rolling. Alright, first thing we're going to do is just check in with our breast chakras. Bring your awareness to your two breasts, and if you can, place your two hands over them. Yep, just like that. Just hold them, and let's take a few deep breaths here. And you can close your eyes if it feels right. Mm -hmm. 
What's going on for you? How do your chakras feel? Do they feel open, light, airy, loose? Or a bit dim, pinched, constricted, lifeless? Is energy moving through them nicely, smoothly? Or do things feel a bit clunky in the rotation of your chakras? How does the left one feel compared to the right one? Considering that the left side is traditionally the female side of the body and the right side is considered the masculine side. And how do you feel holding your breasts for this long? Do you feel silly, awkward, uncomfortable? Do you find yourself wishing they were a bit different? Are you totally cool with it? Maybe you're even relieved to hold yourself in this very intimate yet completely neutral way. We're just observing here. Now, you can put your hands wherever you like, perhaps over your heart or in your lap. And continuing to breathe, we're going to ask our two breast chakras to open wide and begin to take in as much light as they can hold. Sense them brightening up. Feel the expansion and swelling of energy here, accepting any emotions that arise. We'll allow this light to clear out any blocks in our chakras, any stagnant energies, any attachments to others, any repeating or looping thought forms that do not serve our highest good. This light alleviates any mental, emotional, or spiritual suffering held in the breasts. And it repairs any damage to the physical tissues and glands of the breasts in this and all other timelines. Simply accept this instant healing now and express some gratitude for it. We're now going to call upon the divine feminine aspect of Source to envelop us. Pure goddess energy in shades of pastel colors, white, and silver comes funneling down and pouring into our chests. Totally surrender to its softness and brilliance. Feeling deeply comforted, aligned, and grounded in love. We ask this Divine Mother energy to help us heal any issues with our mothers in this or any other earthly incarnation. Any ego drivers, disagreements or resentment, any feelings of frustration or being misunderstood, any feelings of abandonment, loss, or being unwanted or disappointing. This Divine Mother energy soothes any fears, any anxiety, and any trauma picked up from our time in our own mother's womb. And we ask that any genetic markers for inherited illness from our female ancestral line get switched off, as our very DNA becomes flooded with the light of this Goddess energy. Supported by the Divine Feminine, we now reflect on our ability to nourish others and be nourished to nurture and be nurtured. Let any realizations arise without overthinking. Do you overdo it? Do you go overboard putting others first? Do you avoid helping out? Do you let others near you? Do you let others help you? Are you comfortable giving and receiving? You can ask now, what is my biggest block to opening up my channels of love and abundance? What do you require to come into balance here? To be able to meet your needs and greet others with an open heart. 
How full is your cup? Drained? Semi-drained? Or full enough to overflow into others? Allow anything you've learned to crystallize into your consciousness and extend yourself some self-love for a moment. We're now going to focus on healing our individual feminine aspects. Still deeply connected to the divine feminine, you notice the energy coming through your chest begins to surge through with a new intensity. It turns into a blazing flame of those pastel-colored, white, and silver tones. And it sears through any anger, guilt, or shame still buried in your breast chakras. The flame of the goddess energy stirs it all up for transmutation. You find you can decide to let go of any disrespect your feminine aspect has faced. You release any criticism or cruelty others have dealt you for expressing your intuitive, creative, compassionate self. You release any rage you've ever felt at the treatment of the feminine across the world over the centuries. And you release any feelings of degradation or restriction, any victimhood, any need to control or manipulate the emotions or actions of others. Still sizzling through you with its transformative flame, the Divine Feminine now helps you to resolve any inner conflicts you have with your body or your sexuality. Any energies of others who have abused you or made you feel uncomfortable in your own skin are now dissolved away. All the energies of any former partners still attached to you are now removed. Any rejection of or obsession over your sexuality melts away. Any hyperactivity or underactivity comes into balance. And you revoke any vows of celibacy or chastity that you have sworn to religious institutions in parallel lives that may still be affecting you as well. This clearing helps you to recognize any personas or inauthentic behaviors you've taken on to please others. Any reasons you dislike your appearance. Any codependency. And any ways you seek validation with your body. You remember that human sexuality is a representation of the mystical marriage of the pure union of the feminine and masculine aspects of Source. And you remember that you are pure and whole. You feel the full power of the Goddess within you. You feel pristine, soft, and strong. With all the dross burned away, you feel and sense that your breast chakras are immaculate shining, spinning freely, and emitting fizzy little sparks of pastel-colored, white, and silver energy. Send this energy through your entire being, down through your solar plexus, sacral, root, and earth star chakra below your feet. And send it up through your throat, your third eye, your crown, and through your transpersonal chakras behind and above your head. Illuminated and with your feminine aspect aligned, take a moment to acknowledge the shifts that have occurred within. And lastly, check that you're grounded by sending your consciousness down into the earth and up into the sky and squeezing and anchoring into both. And when you're ready, you can go back about your day or evening feeling fabulous. Thanks a ton for joining. Be sure to leave your comments or questions below, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your favorite person with nipples. <laughs> See you next time.